<laughs> Sunshine, how you doing? Let me move this so I can see. Hey, Norla, posh, perfectly poppable. Is that balloons? That sounds, that sounds real posh. Hey, K K Kayla, I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, Kyla. So guys, I came on here, train to train, you made it. Where you been at? I knew it was going to do that. As soon as I moved it. Where you been at, Trina? My bad, guys. Let me see. Wait a minute. Hey, sweet Jane. So I just come, I wanted to come on here really quick today because I put a post up in a group, right? And then I just remembered previous posts before where you guys, um, you know, you talk about, oh, she says she working. You always work at Gary. Well, you, some of you guys got venues, but this is my industry, right? So I know a lot of you guys got venues. And some of these hotels, they like, they've been getting on my nerves over the past week, right? So some of the, some of them have, um, that one website had one thing and then come find out that's not what they had. So some of these locations are not really being able to accommodate my needs. Um, most of these locations we've been to, so it's not like they don't have it, but the communication is like real, is like real lax. And I'm like, I need my venues, point blank. So I said, you want to know what? <clears throat> Price, I said, Precious, you got a whole drive, thir over 30,000 people. Because, second, you know, 30,000 people um, collectively, these people got venues. So you guys are always talking about bringing uh, my Draper class to your venue. So let's do it. Y'all already know most of our locations because in March, of uh, our quarter one tour, um, they're posted on a site. So. Oh, they changed your schedule. Hey, Deirdre. So if you guys, I wanted to get on here and see who exactly had a venue. So I know um, some of you guys reached out to me in the community app because y'all got the, the text notification. But I want you to be able to put it here because I am I get so many messages over here. <laughs> and at least here, this is one spot. This is what I'm talking about. So I can always come back and reference this video. Then a lot of you guys always catch it on the replay at night because that's when you guys are off. That's all that good stuff. And now it's so funny because I was talking to another young lady and I just thought it was you. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought it was, I was like, is this Del? They was like, she was like, no. <laughs> but we was talking about um, a venue location up in, that was Chicago, I believe. There was another young lady. It was, I forgot what that location was, but I kind of, I want to know where you guys at, where you guys located who have a venue or know of a venue that can um, accommodate our draping masterclass. Um, a lot of the hotels that we talked to today don't have the ceiling height that I need. And I guess they trying to bounce back from, you know, from COVID. And I'm like, baby, that ain't what we paid last year. <laughs> so talk about inflation. Whoa. Talk about, in oh, that was you. I was pretty sad. I knew it was. Okay, so this is who I thought it was. I thought it was this Dell. So it wasn't my Dell that was in class. It was this Sean Dell. Okay. So Sean Dell, I, I, I couldn't finish because I had to come over here and kind of set this up. But definitely, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I don't know who this is, Facebook user. <laughs> but guess what? We love you too, boo. Hey, Landis, let me know. Let me know because you know Philly is back on the map. Philly is in June. Um, We'll be in Philly in June. So definitely, Landis, send me a message, boo. Um, where we were at in Philly, it was okay. Um, it wasn't ideal for having a master class because of the equipment. They could not accommodate. They didn't have like freight elevators and things like that. So it was a little, we caught a little hell in Philadelphia. We really did. But the classmates came, the students came and totally made up for because that class was on fire. They had high energy in that class. Um, so I can't wait to come back to Philly. I really can't. We have we have fun in Philly. But I kind of want to know, like, I kind of put this up. Hey, Kimmy Kim. So I know one thing you was mentioning, Kim. I think when we was in Chicago, we was in Kim, where was we at? And you you said for us to go to the other airport, O'Hare, I believe. I can't really remember. So let me know. Um Okay, okay, okay. So I was trying to, when I was talking to you, Shonda, I was trying to pull it up and I couldn't. So I'm going to um, dig further into that because we, you definitely know we'll be in Chicago. We'll be in Chicago. That is not until September, but 
got that with my glasses, but we beat it. We beat it, right? So the one thing I want, one reason I want to go this route um, as far as getting venues with the tribe is because for one, you have a venue, you're already in the industry. You pretty much, you know, you know, you've seen the videos. So you kind of know what uh, consists of my masterclass, right? Not to mention, it's not so much red tape as it is now with these hotels. It's like, it's a lot. It's a big difference from what we used to do and how they used to do things. And now that how we are positioning our classes as far as all inclusives, when I was working with um, some of the venues from some of my students, it just was a lot more flexibility. All right, babe. <laughs> a lot more flexibility with, um, you know, with things that had to be shipped. Oh, I like that. Open that door back up. <laughs> I like that natural light, baby. But it had, it was just a lot more flexibility with food and beverage, things that had to be shipped. And, you know, we, as realistically, we don't know how this thing's going to pan out as far as with these hotels. And even when the hotels had a shutdown, we were saved uh, by, I think it was like at least two or three venues where it's actually my tribe that had still had this venue. We was able to have this master class because y'all know my classes are small. And as long as we were under the capacity um, of what the requirement was, we were good to go. Right. So I definitely want to have my contingency plan in place because I don't know what's going to happen with these hotels. And it looked like they don't know either, which is why they charge it buku money. I'm like, baby, you do realize last year and the year before that, that you had nowhere near these rates, right? But <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I said, let me go up here. Let me go over here to my to my to my to my tribe, right? Midway. So where was we was at Midway? Girl, I don't even know where we was at. I just know we was in Chicago. <laughs> I heard about this one before, Dana. Reveal Gallery. I don't know where that is. Tell me where that's at. I said, let me go support my people. We ready, ready. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have the date, Teresa, but normally for all the tours, we normally travel the last two weeks of that month. So if it's in June, I know it's the last two dates. Philly is kind of like midway. As of now, the tour is Atlanta. I just got Carolina because I don't know which one I'm gonna go to yet. <laughs> yeah, know we got put up a vote. I always I love Charlotte. I always get mad love in Charlotte, but I keep getting requests for other areas. So I may, uh, we don't know. We're gonna see where the, the, the highest demand is. But I just got Carolina, Richmond, Baltimore, Philly, Connecticut, Boston, and then Louisville. Never been there. So they that that is new on the tour, but all those locations I'm open. You guys have a venue or know of a venue um, that where they can host our masterclass. Main thing, it, the main thing, like <laughs> have to have is tall ceilings and uh, lots of light. Um, everything else we can pretty much uh, kind of accommodate, but long as like how uh, Shondell said, it has to have easy to transport. Um, equipment because we rolling up in that thing with big old road cages and some of them locations last year baby the breakdown was it was unnecessarily entirely too long but the hotel couldn't accommodate um eight foot road cages eight foot I mean eight foot long uh no eight foot wide road cages right it was like a lot of bends and turns and it just was I, we ain't doing that we ain't doing that we not doing that so we go see we go see Oh, Lolita, Greenville. So Greenville was actually on our list. So it's like one of the toss-ups when we doing the Carolina, like exactly where we're going. That was one that came highly requested. Um, so we're going to see. I'm going to check this spot out. B&B Design House. Okay, I love it. Hey, Santana, you back, baby. You've been all over the place the last two days. I've been seeing Santana everywhere. <laughs> Now, we ain't talking about some filet mignon, a box lunch. I said, per person. I said, uh-uh. I said, I could get one of my students that do catering, and we can have a fallout landish. <laughs> we can have a full spread. <laughs> I said, that is ridiculous. I said, oh, no. I said, did you look up how many times we have actually done business with you guys? So, well, I don't know. Livonia. I never heard. Oh, Missouri. Wait a minute, no. Lavonia. Just outside of Detroit. Wait a minute, where that's at? Oh, that's that's a September. So September we have Columbia, Raleigh, um, 
Charleston, Columbus, Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis, and Nashville. So far, that is our September run. And that leaves the last one is Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Arizona, which is December. Um, we pretty much do have, we got a lot of options for LA as far as venues. Um, I just, pretty, it's just so, it's like big distances. Like everybody venue that I've kind of partnered with, they're like hours away from each other. So I got to find out like a central location where everybody going to be coming from and like which one um, is more accessible to people that's actually going. Fritch man, whoop, whoop. <laughs> you coming back, Sunshine? Ooh, she got the LEDs. So with these tours, we actually doing uh, um like professional photography. So lighting is like super duper important. And I'm important. I need some crisp, extra, extra, extra crisp um footage of these tours for 2022. Hey Priscilla. Priscilla says. She is new. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Precious Stevens of the Posh Academy. And I pretty much make your draping look good. So if you're looking to enhance your skills or <laughs> attract higher paying clients, I am your girl. So I can help you do both. What's the location of the Birmingham? So sure, Birmingham, we don't have. That's one of the people that are bagging crazy today. So Birmingham, Tampa, I'm like... <laughs> We can scratch Tampa off the list because Tampa acting a little weird. I said, I don't know about Tampa. But um, it was Tampa and Birmingham. We waiting on something for Miami. We got Savannah. We got Atlanta. Uh, I believe it's Mississippi we got because Mississippi almost full. Can y'all believe? Biloxi is almost full. We didn't even promote this class yet. We haven't even really talked about the tour because we focused on this two-day event, right? But Bil they got in there and got them Biloxi tickets, babe. Oh, <laughs> It ain't that many left. Michigan, we will be in the house. We will be in the house. No, that, so that's what you were saying, Dana. Okay, I was going to say, that ain't Missouri. <laughs> Michigan, okay. So, but Birmingham, we waiting, we're waiting on. We're going to see what, the, but we was, no, we wasn't in Birmingham. Were we in Birmingham? I don't know why it feels like we went to Birmingham before. I can't remember. I've, I've been doing this thing for quite a little bit, y'all. <laughs> I think all, collectively we've been to, and some of them have been repeat, but we've been on tour about a good five five times. So we've we've been quite a quite a quite round a lot. Crap! What did I miss? You ain't miss nothing, Keisha. You ain't miss anything, boo. Oh, okay, she said let us switch, uh, switch to her pro account. Dallas, Priscilla. Oh, you're in Dallas. So no, we won't be in Dallas, but we will be in. Houston, we be in Houston and, and God dang, who wrote this so small? Guys, I'm struggling. This is small. I don't, y'all probably can't see it, but I can't see. We be in Houston on 324, March the 24th, Houston, Texas. Uh, and it was a, a toss up between Houston and Dallas, but Houston won by a landslide. Not, not really, because Dallas was kind of coming a little heavy too, but Houston was easy because we've already taught in Houston and we've already had, um, We've already had solid uh, connections in Houston, but we got to see what they're talking about, babe. We got to see what they talk about because I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> okay, I hear that, Cheryl. How much are the classes so I could get my coins together? So they start at $9.97 and it goes all the way up to $23.97. It just depends on what, what, ex what exactly you want. $9.97 is for those that already have all their stuff. They don't need anything but the instruction. Um, twenty three ninety seven is people that don't have anything and they need everything, baby. So it just depends exactly what it is that you need. Of course, I'm coming back to Philly, Pam. Of course, we have fun in Philly here, Miss Drag. So I am going to um pretty much like I said, what I'm going to do is look at the venues that you guys put into the comments on this video. Uh, unfortunately, if it's on like Facebook, I may not be able to see it because. That's how this little stream yard thing is set up. But I am going to look at these venues. I am going to make connections. But what you can easily do, did I put it up in here? Send an email. Uh, you can easily send an email to info at learnpremiumdraping.com. That way I can, I don't got to search for where the venue is. <laughs> 
And if it's you directly, just, um, you know, make contact, send an email. And if it's someone that you're referring, just send the name of the uh, venue. I'll let them know that they were, they came referred by you and then we'll see if they can accommodate us. And hopefully if they can, that is where we will be. So we're really at this stage trying to map out the entire, um, the entire 2022 and solidified with venues. So, you know, that part is done and then arrange for, and that would ultimately help me um, determine how I am going to do these classes because so many people that come to class prefer the all inclusive, right? Which means you get your kit, your fabric and all that stuff. But if we're going on tour and we're doing a hundred people per tour, we can't carry that much equipment. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a hundred kits and a hundred um, fabric bundles, which would take up a, a tour bus. <laughs> we ain't rolling like that, boo, not yet. So we're gonna, um, hopefully that's another reason why I wanna partner with the actual venues of you know people that's in the tribe because we'll have more flexibility as far as if we have to ship something or if we have to ship it actually to the, the student or I don't know, that's the part we're trying to um, actually narrow down now so it could be out of the way. Nashville, yep. So we'll be wait a minute. Is Nashville on here? Wait a minute, Nashville ain't on here. Oh, I was ready to say we had fun in Nashville too. We had fun in Nashville. So we're definitely coming back to Nashville. So guys, I just wanted to make this video. It, it was just really about that. But while I am here, since I see I have some new people on the live, one thing I wanted to let you know is if you have heard me talking about the two-day draping seminar. I ain't gonna get too far about it because I talked about it last month. I mean, last week. But if you heard me talking about this two-day draping seminar, which is the hybrid program that we are actually launching next month here in Atlanta, it's a two-day program. Day one teaches you everything about skill set, techniques, draping, premium draping, everything about it. Right. Day two teaches you everything you need to know to sell it and get paid. So day one is skill set. Day two is marketing and business fundamentals to help you get and ultimately get paid for the skill set you just learned. So that event where um, this is the last week, actually. Yep, this is the last week. I'm actually um, launched. We we've launched a contest and we're giving away one spot for free. Absolutely free. And even if um, so, so many because we did a promo last week. And so many people bought that promo. Like I, I, I didn't expect that many people to grab on it so fast. So even if you purchased the promo and you entered into the contest, if your name is called, no worries, you will be refunded anything that you've paid for this event. So that is the link to enter into the event. Now the key with this event, I mean this contest, is the higher your score, meaning the more, uh, what are they called? Like task or entries, entries. The more entries you complete the higher your score, you get more points. So um, the, the winner will be announced on Monday and it will be announced here live. Um, so that's about the contest. There's a link for the contest. Then there is still the wait list open. Now the wait list is just what it is. It's a wait list, meaning anyone on this wait list will be the only one to receive early bird pricing and any other giveaways that we're gonna um, offer to the wait list group. Now that will not go live until I ain't telling you because if you're on a wait list, you'll you will know. <laughs> but only the wait list will have the opportunity to um, receive any special pr promo, any early bird pricing, anything that we have to offer for I think it's like four days long. Once the wait list cart closes, it goes to general admission or general pricing. That's it. That's what the price will remain until the entire week that it is uh, two weeks that you can purchase a ticket. Um, so that's why it's super important to be on this wait list. If you don't do nothing else, and even if you're in, you don't know you want to attend, because the more you read these emails, the more you're learning about this event, right? Because you get emails every other day and it's telling you pretty much what you're going to learn, what you're going to experience, what it's going to look like, right? So don't wait until, <laughs> you know, the, the wait list close and then now you don't have a choice but to pay the regular price, baby, which is still well worth it because it's a lot that's going to be covered in this event. Um, but if nothing else, just at least get on the wait list so you can have the opportunity to receive whatever I'm going to get. <laughs> and then another one is this Thursday. Y'all see your girl, we going live and doing all that stuff, right? So Thursdays, especially for January, I'm training every um, Thursday at 12 o'clock noon 
Eastern Standard Time on YouTube only for the YouTube membership guys. Don't matter what level you're on. If you're in the YouTube membership, you will have access to the training. Now, this week, I told you guys, we, we did the training last week. This week, I told you guys we want to be doing um, the business foundation, right? Business foundation and fundamentals. But I also told you guys I wanted to do it on Zoom. So the only way you will be able to get the Zoom link or the Zoom credentials is to tune into the video on YouTube. The, you, the video on YouTube will give you everything you need to join us on Zoom. I'd rather do Zoom. That way I could do my screen shares and show you exactly what I'm doing uh, rather than just sitting there tr actually verbally training. It's kind of, I'm a visual person, so I need to see. So it's <laughs> been, been uh, hosting it on Zoom will be a, a, a lot more easier to digest and a lot more easier to understand exactly what I'm telling you to do. It's going to be some, some thinking involved and some things that you got to do on your end. But y'all know every time in the beginning of the year, I love talking about Business Foundation. Because if your goals was half as big as mine, they don't even got to be as big as mine. But if you even got goals, you are not going to be able to accomplish them if your business is raggly. So this month, not only will we be this, um, covering business um, foundation, next week we're going to be covering systems and automation, right? I could not, even though some of my automation, my links and stuff is a little whack. But if it was just me doing everything manually, I would, I would, I clearly wouldn't be here today. So it's important, it's crucial, it's imperative that you put systems and workflows and automation into your business. It's very, very, very critical to do that. So that's something that we're, I'm going to be teaching next week, Thursday, 12 o'clock noon, Eastern Standard Time. And then we're going to wrap it up the end of the month with Q&A, meaning you, whatever you are facing in your business, we're going to do Q&A to see if um, I have a strategy that's, that will help you nine times out of 10. I would because I kind of kind of did it all <laughs> since I've been running this business over here, right? So that is pretty much um, it. I wanted to tell you about that. We don't have any any box. Y'all bought them boxes up. I'm sorry, guys. And if you wanted to join the membership, that's the link for the membership. Any level gets you access to these trainings. Um, like I said, every Thursday, if you cannot get the training live, you will have access to the replay. You will have access to the replay. So that is all I have for that. Catherine. When is the two-day seminar? The two-day seminar is February the 17th and the 18th. And I'm so excited. Can you say so excited? <laughs> so excited. Wait a minute. Oh, so we was at O'Hare. Okay. And I think you guys was telling me to do Midway. Okay. Okay. Yeah, send me that. But I don't know, Keisha, the, the hotel's acting a little funny. Thank you, Lolita. That is so awesome. So what location is this? So no, we have, we'll have yeah, our equipment for like training. I was talking about pipes for the, not pipes, kits <laughs> for people that want to purchase them. A lot of my students want to purchase them. So no, we always travel with practice equipment and practice fabric because I don't, I don't make it mandatory where people have to buy that. Um, Some people just want to come and learn. So we will always have that. We'll always travel with that. But as far as traveling with things that they want to buy, since our tours are two weeks at a time, it's not like we're leaving and coming back, leaving and coming back. We're gone two weeks at a time. So that's a lot of equipment to log around. Um, so that part, we're, we're figuring that, that part out. Lashina, I need them at least 12 feet. 14 would be amazing, but at least 12. Um, 12 give, gives us, uh, um, 12, 12 is cool. 12 gives up. I like 12 also because 12, when the lighting isn't so high, like some, some of the ceilings we did last year was like 17, 22 and, and those elements and those situations, the lighting is too high. So by the time it reaches down to where we are, the pictures don't turn out that great, which is another reason why we're doing professional photography for these locations. So lighting isn't an issue. Is that Tam? No. Y'all know me knowing these names, but that show looked like Tam. <laughs> I, I, I know you when I see you, boo. That sounds like that looks like my Tam Tam. <laughs> I'm so excited too, Sunshine. Delaware. Let me see. So no, Delaware, I can't tag. Look here. Why you ain't been say something, girl? So Delaware, we won't be doing Delaware because we so close to, you know, we so close in between um Richmond and Baltimore. Um 
Delaware, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to see. We got to see. <laughs> Wait a minute, Keisha, what Palladium? You talking about Al Palladium back home? And uh, in Baltimore? I know the Palladium got t- tall. So the Palladium is beautiful. I used to, I, the, pal- the Palladium is gorgeous. Hey, Carla, Carla. I, t- I told you, there's always that one. That's, you are my student. <laughs> Carla is so funny, y'all. I swear to God. I was tripping out at her, at her in class all, all that entire day. I think that was Detroit. That day, gonna call her. I like Philly, though, Lakia. I like Philly. You can't do that. I got to go to Philly. Wait a minute. So you're talking about the, Keisha, you're talking about the Palladium? And if you're talking about the Palladium, is this the one that's in Baltimore? I know exactly where that's at. Park Heights. Park Heights, say hi, you want to care? <laughs> okay, good. So don't forget, guys, send an email. That way we can check them and keep track of who is where and what we got going on. Because this would be so much easier. Let me see. Detroit, yes. Hey Felicia, so it's different pricing levels. Um, if you're on if you're on a wait list or anything like that, you'll be able to see because you can't buy tickets now. But the pricing levels range from live stream access, day one access only, day two access only, um, general access, and then VIP access. So it, it ranges from two ninety seven all the way up to thirteen ninety seven, depending on which one you want. Oh, she's talking about Philly. Okay. All right, guys. So that's all I had. Hey, Jordans. You're normally on YouTube, right? I, I told you guys I was going to start coming over here on Instagram a little more. Because I do have some guys over here on, on Instagram. Um, I'm just not c- consistent over here. But I'm going to get better. I knew I wasn't crazy. Yeah, you're talking about Baltimore. Okay. See, I like them kind of conversations. She, when people say I got an inside connection, boo-boo. <laughs> I love those kind of conversations. They're the people you say connected to, okay? Because I I don't have to do everything. I don't have to know all things. But I just need to be connected to people that do. And Keisha sound like you're going to be one of them, boo. <laughs> so the virtual, um, Marie, did you get a ticket? I thought you did. Virtual is only $2.97. Virtual is only $2.97 um, for the, the draping seminar. Okay. Thanks, Felicia. All right, guys. So that's pretty much all I have. So again, I will be going live on YouTube Thursday, 12 o'clock noon. We're going to be covering. I'm going to be training on rather. We're not covering. I'm just going to train on. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're supposed to have, what you need to have if you want your business to grow. You ain't got to get it that day, but I highly suggest you somewhere make it into a financial plan to get it done because you're going to need it. All I got to do is provide you with the resources and the information, and then you decide when you're ready to implement. But if you're if you're anything like me, you're definitely going to want to implement um, the sooner the better, right? Because this thing is crazy. Like one from it went from one extreme to another. It went from one extreme to not getting no phone calls about no draping events or no nothing to the following week getting a phone call or inquiry every day. So you want your business to be in position to handle those kind of calls or those kind of requests. I was talking to somebody the other day who was just totally overwhelmed. Because I think it was in a group. I can't remember. It was somewhere on Facebook. I kind of been all over that thing the past few days. But that's pretty much what it was. And it's like on one end, you are, you know, you're, you're grateful that now your business is busy, but you can't handle the volume because it's not organized and you don't have nothing in place to really handle the inquiries that are coming in. So at the end of the day, you're losing money. So no business want to operate that way, which is why I cover this topic almost every January, though. I really do. Because that's when you guys are all like super excited. And sometimes when I cover it, like, you know, later on, it's like, oh, yeah, that's a lot. It's overwhelming. Well, babe, you got to get it done. I'm just trying to tell you. You keep crying around notebooks of contracts and filling out manually and you can keep doing all of the manual things if you want to in your business. See how how see how that gonna work out for you. I'm just trying to tell you. <laughs> so that's all I got, guys. Let me go so I can get some things done. Rip. So I, that's common, Marie. That's you're not by yourself. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people. Um, 
you know, a lot of people can drape and they still are undercharging for their draping. And to some degree, you know, it depends on how some people look at it. Some people look at it as watering down the industry. I don't look at it that way because not that it's not bargain basement baddies out there, but they ain't calling me. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just know a certain elements to that thing. And so it's like, you have to be able to know how to price. But one thing I love and why now I'm putting this event on now is because first I had to develop I had to develop a strategy, right? I had to develop a strategy that was easy. Did I have a pricing tutorial before? I did, but for some people, it was it's overwhelming because it's like taking a line item by a line item and the software does do all the work. Yes, it do. But it's like you have to have a good foundational baseline of knowing where to even start, where to even set your prices. So with how I'm teaching pricing now, I mean, it can't get no simpler than this. It can't get no simpler than this. And one thing I was able to adapt, which made it so much easier, is that a lot of you guys that get into draping, this isn't like your first, this is the, your first dance with event with, in the event industry, right? You either had some balloon packages, you had some treat tables, you had some design services, some you had something to where as you are kind of know the system of packaging. So I said, okay. So and another thing I love about the, my pricing um, strategy now is can't nobody else teach it to you. Why? Because I made it up and it's easy to, <laughs> it's easy to follow. It is my intellectual property. It makes hella sense. And I get paid exactly what I say on the dotted line, what I want to get paid. So pr it's proven that it works. And when I followed and developed it, even when I was doing it the old way, my prices wasn't my prices. It took a while for me to transition from, you know, the bargain basement baddies calling and, and making them inquiries. But it, it, it's not like it happened overnight. I'm not going to lie and say it did. But when I remain consistent with enhancing my skills and projecting that kind of work and putting it out there and posting it, now it's like a, it's like a, it's kind of like some of you guys, some people like putting prices on their website. Some people don't. I'm one of the people that will put prices on my website. Why? Because I ain't got time to go back and forth with trying to figure out and customize something for you. However, if I'm putting my price on it, I will leave an option that we do offer custom packages. But baby, we start right here. So if you know, you know, and your budget does not allow for that, you ain't going to call me. You ain't going to send me no email. You ain't going to do any of that. And that's not me leaving money on the table, baby. That's me protecting my energy and not wasting my time at the end of the day, because you are freeing up time so I can talk to the people. They can't afford that. So when I'm my phone ring, hello, Posh Cat here. They already know at least have this amount of money to discuss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I did make it up. I made this price your strategy up. And what it was is based on uh, uh, a basic or, you know, the basic terminology of how pricing is, but not going that, and you ain't got to dance all the way around the whole Marbury bush to come up with a price. So somebody walk up to me, I could have three backdrops right there and they say, bam, I want that one. How much it costs. I could easily give them a price or a range or something. I ain't got to go in the software and say, Hmm, let's put two tie backs. Hmm. Let's put three swags. Hmm. Let's put two balances. What that total up to two? Ain't nobody got time for all that. Nobody have time for all that. So you got to learn to categorize. And I categorize everything, baby. And I do everything in threes. If you ain't learned by now, I do everything in threes. That's a comfortable number for me. It's easy for me to remember. If you get anything beyond that, it's a little too much. <laughs> That's a little too much. I'm trying to tell you. So the link for the some the so you talking about the contest? Here's the contest bit.ly forward slash posh contest and then if you want to get on the wait list that is the link for the wait list but um yeah it's not y'all know my, one of my teaching and i think that's why people love the way i teach is because it's simplified right i don't like a lot of um i don't like a lot of you know when a person leave a class they feel they feel, they feel overwhelmed like oh my god what did i just learn right because it is a lot in this draping world it is a lot when you're covering all aspects of it but i like making it so simple and it lets me know that i teach in a simplistic way because i always get the oh my god that's it what you're trying to tell me i've been draping for 20 years and i didn't so <laughs> my strategies must work baby <laughs> Oh my God, my strategies must work. Hey, that's all. 
that's that's me all day i'm trying to tell you all day that's the only way at the end of the day that's the only way i know how to deliver and that's the only way i know how to achieve results i don't have time to sugarcoat a bunch of stuff because at the end of the day again i'm protecting my energy and i'm protecting my time so <laughs> those two things are the most valuable assets i have they and so i have to protect them at all times no fluff i'm gonna tell you exactly how it is and i mean i know i know how to do it and deliver it in a way to where it's digestible it don't it doesn't um you know no one takes it personal because at the end of the day when someone come across or they land on my threshold or they come into my arena i want them to feel as if they're taken care of right they're taken care of i'm gonna be in your face though I'm going to be in your face because I want you to get it. I want to make sure you get it, baby. I got to see that you got it before I release you out <laughs> into the world. <laughs> but that's just how I am, right? Yeah, I just put that up. So the two-day seminar, right now you can't purchase. No, There's no tickets available. Only thing you can do is get on the wait list or get on the, um, the contest. Keisha, say it again. My price is my price. <laughs> I was listening to something this morning. Um, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I got to go, guys, so I can get some work done. But uh, with that being said, if you are interested in the two-day draping seminar, y'all got to understand, one, what's the difference between the master class and the seminar? The master class is only focusing on premium draping to that level, cost approved, right? That's it. We do we talk about and we cover pricing and marketing strategies and things like that but this class is heavy because it's one-on-one -on -one with everyone that's in attendance like it's hands-on with everybody um so it's heavy with uh skill set it's focused on skill set the two-day draping seminar is for those that either um never touch drapes right because it's for a beginner because you still i cover the same thing i cover in class but it's not hands-on it's more or less of a seminar that's why it's called a seminar because i am on the stage and i'm teaching you all the aspects of it right which is why i was able to condense and get so much done in this seminar because it's not each student you know it's not me having to walk around and do that but the benefit is now you get the jam pack of everything else that a lot of people don't get in the master class which is the marketing strategies pitching it pricing it getting it um getting paid for it right at the end of the day things like that that's a lot of things that i kept hearing people were struggling with which is why i created this hybrid program so it's taking two things that i'm great at which is draping and um and, and marketing right and getting paid for my services i'm i'm great at that <laughs> i don't get the haggles anymore i'm not saying i never did but i don't today so i'm able to be able to teach those strategies to you in a way that you can easily obtain them easily digest them and implement them into your business so that you can command higher prices too boo because at the end of the day precious do what precious stevens of the posh academy believe designers get deserve more money and i help you get it <laughs> so that is all i got guys Monita, you should know, you should already know it. I'm going to put it up here one more time, guys, because I do, I want all you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. You was like, that's it. Oh, my. If, right. I, I try and teach it in a way that everybody could get it. I don't care what level you're on. I don't care. I had people that went to so many other draping classes and institutions right but they ended up in my class for whatever reason and still they get so much value out of the class which is why i'm going to keep doing it because you know it's, it's serving its purpose and it's helping people so and i love it so we just gonna keep improving and getting better and better and the last this is the last link guys i'm gonna put up because i do want everyone that is interested in taking drape into the next level but not just taking it to the next level but actually getting paid for it like this is where you need to be because it's no sense that who tired of being creative and broke i know i got i was tired of that real fast i got frustrated with that real fast i mean a little creativity part is fun and all but baby when you're done and you go in a breakdown and now you're in the car or whatever you got your kids and help your spouse and help and everybody frustrated because <laughs> where the money <laughs> You, you know, goodness well, everything that you got paid, you didn't spent on inventory. The only thing you could do, we all going to go out to Popeye's, get us some chicken, and we going to the house. I try to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. I know, I know it. I've been there. I've done that, right? So this is where you need to be. So it's one thing to learn how to drape. 
is two things to learn how to get paid for it, right? So the reason why we broke it down, how it's broken down, because some of my older students that they know how to drape, right? But they missing that marketing piece. That's why you can come to, if you want to only day two, if that's what you feel like you need. So if you don't need the draping um, class, then only attend day two. But let's just say you good in marketing, right? But you just don't know how to get your skills up to par. Then only attend day one. And if you just suck at both, baby, you need to be at both of them. <laughs> that's all I'm going to tell you. Come to both. We got you. We got you, boo. Come to both. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. You got to get paid, baby. You got to get paid. You got to get paid. I'm trying to tell you. Guys, I got to go so I can do some work. So I get get my uh, training my training supplies done for Thursday because I'm excited about that too because my, my business foundation um, trainers, they, they go exciting too because we have conversation and a lot of things that ladies, when they're on the training, they're like, I ain't realized that. You making me think today. I hear this all the time. You making me think today, boo. I'm like, that's what I'm here for. Bam. <laughs> I love y'all. I got to get out of here so I get some work done. Catch you Thursday, hopefully.